Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria. Today, we've got a major update in the music and legal world. Toronto rapper Top 5, who's been fighting a murder charge for over three years, has just walked free. And in a surprising move, he's given a special shout out to none other than Drake. Let's break down what went down in court, the role Drake played, and why Top 5's lawyer thinks he was unfairly targeted in the first place. Stay tuned, this one's loaded. So let's start with the big news. Top 5, real name Hassan Ali, was arrested back in 2020. 21 for the murder of Hashim Omar Hashi, an accounting student who was tragically killed in what authorities say was a case of mistaken identity. Now here's where things get interesting. A judge ruled that several key pieces of evidence couldn't be used in the trial. That was a game changer for the case. And ultimately, the charges against Top 5 collapsed. After the ruling, Top 5 wasted no time making his feelings known. He told reporters outside the courthouse, an innocent man just came home. I hope they find whoever did that. R.I.P. A powerful statement for sure. And it's clear he's maintained his innocence throughout this entire ordeal. Now, onto something even more interesting. Top 5 didn't just walk out of court quietly. He took to Instagram to thank a very familiar face, Drake. In his original post, he said, Shout out big bro at Champagne Poppy for the lawyer fees. That's right. According to Top 5, Drake helped cover his legal costs during this three-year battle. But but here's where things get a little strange. Top 5 later edited the post and removed Drake's mention, leaving fans wondering why. Was it just to avoid further media attention or maybe some legal advice? Whatever the reason, the shout out made waves and it's clear Drake has been quietly in his corner. And now, let's talk about Top 5's defense and the bigger issue his lawyer raised. According to his attorney, Gary Grill, Top 5 wasn't just facing legal charges, he was being targeted because of his drill music. For those unfamiliar, drill music often features violent lyrics and imagery, but Grill argued that these songs aren't real confessions. They're a reflection of the drill scene's tough image. Grill said, the problem with prosecuting artists based on their music is that it fails to understand what drill is about. Artists like Mr. Ali portray themselves as gangsters because that's what sells. Essentially, the argument is that Top 5's lyrics were being taken too literally, leading to his arrest. This is a growing debate in the music industry, whether rap lyrics should be used as evidence in courtrooms. Top 5's case has reignited that conversation, and it'll be interesting to see how it evolves. So, what's next for Top 5? For now, he's free, but prosecutors still have up to a year to bring the case back to court if they find new evidence. As for Top 5, he's been vocal about his innocence from the start and is now looking to move forward. Whether that means more music or staying low-key, only time will tell. And let's not forget, this story's made even bigger by Drake's subtle yet impactful role in it. What do you think about Top 5's case? Should rap lyrics be used in criminal cases? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in the music world. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Re-Up. We'll catch you next time.